along the banks of the mighty river, where the waters flowed with the wisdom of ages past, there lived, a young albino named Kwame. Despite his radiant appearance, Kwame's life was often shadowed by the cruel whispers and stares of those around him. Albinism popularly known as Ofrijayato in Ghana, was rare in his village, and superstitions about it lingered like mist in the early morning. Yet, Kwame was not deterred by the ignorance of others. His heart was as pure as the morning dew, and his spirit shone brighter than the midday sun. He spent his days tending to the fields, singing songs to the crops that danced to the rhythm of his voice. One day, as Kwame made his way to the village well, his eyes fell upon the most beautiful maiden he had ever seen. Her name was Abina, and her laughter was like music to his ears. From that moment on, Kwame's heart belonged to her. Determined to win her affection, Kwame sought the blessing of Abina's parents. But when he arrived at their doorstep, he was met with scorn and disdain. Abina's parents could not look past the color of his skin, blinded by their own prejudice and fear. Heartbroken and dejected, Kwame returned to his humble abode. Yet, even in the depth of despair, his love for Abina burned like an eternal flame. He vowed to prove his worth, not through words, but through deeds. With each passing day, Kwame toiled tirelessly, performing acts of kindness and generosity throughout the village. He helped mend roofs, carried water for the elderly, and shared his meager harvest with those in need. Slowly but surely, the villagers began to see beyond the color of his skin, recognizing the beauty of his soul. Abina watched from afar, her heart torn between her love for Kwame and her loyalty to her parents. She found herself drawn to Kwame's unwavering spirit and boundless love. She had never forgotten the kind-hearted albino who had captured her heart. Despite her parents' objections, she then decided her fate by the beating of her own heart. With courage and determination, she approached Kwame and declared her love for him, vowing to stand by his side for all eternity. Since then, love triumphed over prejudice, and Kwame and Abina's union became a beacon of hope for generations to come. For in the tapestry of life, it is not the color of our skin that defines us, but the love that resides within our hearts.